Yay! We're recording this because we need to post up an update. Why? Well, because we need to update you on several things. One, dread situation, of course. And, of course, future stuff that we plan to do and are working on. Getting that started. Yeah. All that stuff. Anyway, first off, dread situation. Last time you heard about this, dread, we kicked him out of the call. He was negative then. Uh, however, we have talked to him in the last two weeks. We were supposed to do this last. We were supposed to do this recording last week. We didn't because stuff came up. Can't help it. Anyway, uh, so now we're doing it now. Whatever. As of right now, Dread, he's doing okay. We're still friends with him. We bought him Borderlands 2 just because we Christmas could. gift. Christmas gift, and, well, we felt sorry for him. It seems that a lot of his negativity has been coming a lot lately because of family issues that he's been having. Uh, specifically, his father's being kind of a dick to him. Um, yelling at him, telling him that he needs to get either a job or go back to school, do financial aid, stuff like that. I don't want to get too far into it because it's personal life, but I'll just give you the kind of the basics what's going on uh other than there's also the fact that well, his mom apparently she had a problem that we call a few weeks about a month ago or something not sure uh, i don't know it was basically she had to go to the hospital and shit kind of have been going down for him since um it's kind of the central basis of why he sound, he's been sounding kind of negative towards me and Keo. We don't. He kind of has said sorry about it in his own way, because Dread doesn't really say sorry in any other way but his own. We kind of know that. Anyway, he's doing fine. He will not be doing any recordings with us for a while, though. He has requested to take time off from it um, until things have been situated for him to where he's more available uh, to where he's not having such problems at home and I'll I'll be asking him if he wants to be in recording anyway I've told him that he's still welcome at any time I'll ask him if he wants to be in any of the recordings that we do and if he does we'll bring him in but I told him if he's having a bad day or he doesn't feel like doing a recording he doesn't have to be in it um, that's his decision. Uh, we kind of have that happen before. We've had it happen with Meta, and recently he hasn't been with us because, well, he's got a job that kind of puts him in bed earlier, so he can't really always be in a recording with us or even in a call for that matter. And, well, of course, Keo, who had that a few times because I think one was a what for college. Because you had to move everything from your house all the way to your dorm. Yep. And your father was with you, end up end up being with you, so we couldn't record that night with you at least. Yep. Um, there was just stuff like that. Uh, as for dread, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know when you'll next the next time you'll see him in a recording. It might be the next episode. It may not. It's really up to him. Uh. But we want you all to know that he's not going to be out of our recordings unless he does something like that again. If he, well, he requests it. That if he requests it's no longer to be in recordings, of course, we'll let him go. But if he decides that to be a dick or be negative in our Skype conversation before we get to a review or before we get to a playthrough... Or even a let's play when we get to those. Um, chances are I'm not going to bring him back. Um, this is kind of the first time it was a warning. Just don't piss me off or don't piss Keo off. If you are negative towards us, I'm kicking you out of the call. It's kind of what happened last time. He kind of set me off to a point where I didn't want his negativity in my recording. Um... This time, I kind of gave him a warning about it. I said, if you ever do that again, we will have words about it. But I'm not going to allow that to happen again. 
If you if you do that, I will not allow you to be in my recordings ever until you've redeemed yourself, pretty much. Um, and this doesn't just go well for him. I mean, it can go for Kia, it can go for Meta, whoever else we have recording for us. Even you. Even myself. If I do something wrong, I can get kicked out. Because this so, is not just mine. That would be strange, because you'd be hosting the call. Yeah, if I'm pissed off, I'm going to leave. I'm going to say, no, neither of you are going to be in my recording. I'll record the motherfucker. Um, basically, yes, if you get pissed, you get to do it by yourself. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, um, that's really off topic. <laughs> um, off topic? Off. <laughs> anyway, as for now, he's going to take his break. Uh uh, you get a warning if you piss me off, of course. Uh, if it's comments, if you read it on the video, I, I don't give a fuck about it. I, I'll read it. If I don't like it, don't care. <laughs> it's a comment. But if you're in a recording with me or you're being negative, I will kick you out literally. Uh, I don't like negativity ever. I despise it. I don't like getting in arguments. I have been, and most recently it's because of what happened last year with one of my own personal friends who decided to stab me in the back. Uh, we had an argument and kind of did a lot of things to our friendship to the point where we're no longer friends. It's kind of that way. Um, it, it put a lot of drama in my life and I don't like it anymore. I just, I really don't want that drama being part of what I do for, for fun. You know, if I want to play a game, I want to play with friends. I don't want negativity ruining that. I don't want to have a recording that I put you guys watch to listen, to enjoy, to be entertained, get ruined because some asshole on our call is being negative. And I don't care if it's Dread, I don't care if it's Keo, I don't care if it's Meta, I don't care if it's some random person we decide to have on. And... If you guys think I'm being that same way, you guys have rights to tell me that. Or you could have rights to leave the call at any point. It's the same thing as I don't like it, I don't want to give it. The only time I ever have to is if I'm the one that feels vi like I'm feeling wronged here or if I'm feeling like pissed off because you're doing something stupid. But anyway, that's the gist of it. Dread is sorry, he didn't mean to kind of put that negative attitude um as for uh everything else it really wasn't because we were hurting him from that recording when we did the playthrough it, we weren't doing anything to hurt him on that there was no ill intent and he knew it he knew it was just friends being friends it just fired with too much other stuff yeah it, it kind of pushed him we we didn't realize how bad it was um, if we had known prior to the recording, we probably wouldn't have pushed it. Uh, so, it, it happens. We didn't know, and from now on, I've told him, it's like, if he ever has a problem, and he wants to be in the recording, just tell us what your problem is before we even do anything. If it's really bad, we won't try to push it. We'll try to play cool it as is, play a ser little serious. Um... Again, it will suck for the recording. We kind of, we kind of like that comedy aspect that Tread gives us, but it might be the best idea in the long run. Um, other than that, he he's fine. That's pretty much it. That's the whole Dread situation. And now we're going to move on to uh, other updates. Uh, as I said before, we do kind of plan to do Let's Plays. Uh, I mentioned it during the Dread situation, but I plan to... I've told this many times before that we might do a Let's Play. We don't know yet. We haven't decided on a game yet, but we have decided on a title for it. We've also are in the works of getting a title card made for it. Now, Keo can fill you in on all that, uh, but as far as Let's Plays go, it's mainly a game where we play co-op. It's kind of the same thing as the Finding Elements idea, but mm -hmm. It's more or less an actual game that has a story. Like, we're playing a campaign, so it could be Resident Evil 5, or it could be uh, Borderlands. Those kind of games, you know. It has a co-op engine in it, and we can do that. Even Diablo 3, if we ever decide to do that. Um, as for the name, 
we have kind of officially decided to call it the Elemental Chosen. I think, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, reason why is well, a we wanted to kind of compile the idea of defining the elements. We wanted to add that part in there, and well, my group is called the Elemental Chosen. That's another part. Um, and there are three of us. Officially, there are three of us. Meta is kind of the unofficial one. Um, he he keeps watch on our videos, but if he doesn't have the game, it's the same thing with Dread. If Dread doesn't have the game or Meta doesn't have the game, they're not going to be with us. Such as, for instance, we, me, and Kiel both have Resident Evil Five, and it's a two-player co-op game. So, me and him are probably going to play that game and record it. Unlike if we were playing. Borderlands, because all four of us have that. We could quite literally all four of us play that. Or Borderlands 2, which me and Keel both actually have, and recently we gave it Dread. Um, of course, we're going to do that on our own time. It'll, I don't know if it's going to be soon, but it'll happen. Um, yeah, that's pretty much on my end. You can say anything you want on the title card, because you're the one that knows all that, uh, Keel. Well, Dread's gonna be a bigger badass of a robot this time. Yeah, you can't Less reveal anything. Scales. Yeah, he's gonna have a cannon. <laughs> can't the epic cannon of epicness, if you will. Yeah, we can't reveal too much about it. I know a little bit about Dreads, but we can't spoil it. Because we know Dread's going to watch this video, so we can't really spoil it for him. You see, you say that and you ruin the surprise. What's the surprise, man? I can't spoil it. We haven't said anything. I said he's got a cannon. That's all I said. He knows the epic about that. cannon, yes. Well, you said the epic cannon. I didn't say epic. I said he has a cannon. What's the spoil? He, he dreads a his food? I guess. Anyway, next one. Because you just said dread, so what about you and me? See, you all the spectral thing Phoenix thing. Kind <laughs> of. It's hard to describe. It really is. I'll be able to describe it whenever I get a chance to see it. Because, you see... Kiyo's been kind enough not to spoil it for me. <laughs> He's kind of give me a little hint, and it's spectral. That's all I know. <laughs> I have to think it's part of a phoenix, because the last one, if you've seen, that probably we're going to use for this, the title card for this recording is the update. Um, you, you see me kind of wearing this hoodie, looking almost Assassin's Creed-like character, you know? Except it's red hoodie, and I'm holding a crowbar, which I call the Freeman. Because why not? It's a crowbar, and Gordon Freeman uses it. And then you also have Keo, who looks like Nick from Left 4 Dead 2 for some reason, but a fox. And then you look at Dredd, who is a robot that Dredd does not like. That's it, you know? And from what I'm hearing is, because we also added it, we wanted to change the title card for the Let's Plays. We kind of added our own little twist, because what we wanted in there. Dread's got a robot. He's always going to have a robot. I don't know what it's going to look like. Keo kind of knows what it's going to look like. All I know is it's got a cannon. And then I asked about mine. Just wanted a little info on it. And all I know it's, is it's going to be spectral and it's going to be different from the original. So, yeah. <laughs> and, well, Keo, you can mention yours now. I inquisitor. If you don't know what that is, people, Warhammer 40k. That's all you gotta know. That's all you guys gotta know is because. Oh, well, Meta managed to make it into this title code as well. Oh, really? And what does he look like? A dragon. <laughs> okay. On a pile of gold. <laughs> so, he's a dragon on a pile of gold. Yes. It's a greedy little dragon, isn't he? Um, <laughs> well, yay. So Meta has made it to the Let's Plays, at least. Um, 
if you guys don't know, Meta, when he plays with us, he is avatar on Steam as a Dragonborn, or D&D. Um, not Dragonborn from Skyrim. Completely opposite. Um, so, we asked him what he wanted because, well, he wasn't on the first title card. He was kind of broken halfway after we got the title card and everything. And we asked him what he wanted to be like. Well, at first he said, oh, I want to be Ellis. He literally wanted to have his character look like Ellis from Left 4 Dead 2. And I said, well, that's kind of hard considering that Keo is usually Ellis. But this is the Let's Play, which we're probably not going to use Left 4 Dead 2 for the Let's Play. Seeing as we pretty much solidified that as defying the elements. Well, yeah, but then again, that's like modded stuff we do. We, we have we some... We do like the core games, we could call it a Let's Play. Yeah. Unless they make a mod that allows you to play all core maps together at once. That'd, that'd be crazy. Be, that's an endurance one. That, that'd be fun. So you do leave one finale on the first map and go to the next one immediately. You now I have to change maps. That'll be awesome. It would like, be, but it'd take you a while. Well, yeah, that's a marathon. That, that one would have to take you, what, five, six hours to complete? At least. Yeah, I'd probably do a run through on that on easy. <laughs> Just so it won't take as long. Just well, to save time. Well, so I've played all the maps. I just don't often feel like sitting down and play. Now, if we're dead for six hours. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we've played it at three hours. And God, that was grueling. We did it on two different occasions. No. Yeah, two different occasions. One, Resident Evil Outbreak. And then the second one was Unreal Tournament. And fuck that map. Still not as bad as some of the maps we have played, though. Yeah, length usually doesn't home too bad. But when you have a boring map, yeah, it does. <laughs> boring or incredibly bad, you know? Or impossible to complete. Yeah. I mean, we've only had one boring map, and we managed to shatter that map. That map was bad, and then we found one that was even worse. <laughs> and it just happened to be a one-part map. Wasn't it, what was it, wasn't that Aquarius or something? Aquarius is pretty bloody bad. Well, yeah, that's because we couldn't figure out how to beat the goddamn boss. Well, what are we talking about? Town Escape, it was Town Escape was more. Well, Town Escape was pretty bad. That was the one we low-ploaded, and then there was Aquarius, which was even worse. It was a flat out zero. Yeah. Because it just, there was really no sense of uh, difficulty. There was really no sense of anything in that one. Uh, I can't remember what it was then. It might have been Aquarius then. I think it was Aquarius, because that's the one we couldn't complete, and we just straight up said, fuck that map. There it was, was no... one of, though we couldn't complete the Unreal Tournament one. Well, we didn't. We, we played seven parts. We played six and completed them, and it could have been completed at, like, part five or six, and they wanted to have a Yeah, seven. that that last part was kind of bull, though, because they just sent too much shit at you, didn't they? Yeah, and it's such a small space. So, but even at that map, we kind of give it higher than Town Escape, because... Well, it's because that one was at least fun. It was at least fun, and it was still doable, even it at the end. It had a theme. Yeah, that too. And kept to it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> we, we have. We have gotten way off topic. Anyway, we're back at Meta, and he's a dragonborn. So, yay, he's a dragon on a pile of gold. Well, that's news to me, guys. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what this title card will look like. Um, as for games, you guys could request it, but you kind of have to look at what games we have. Uh, if you wanted to see us play Borderlands or Borderlands 2, I'm not sure about Borderlands 2 yet, because technically well, I've... I've beat it, folks. Uh, yeah, same with me. I put too much time to kind of want to play it as a Let's Play, though I can. Borderlands, yeah, I won't really have a problem with. Yeah, the first Borderlands we wouldn't have a problem with, because technically I would end up playing it blind. Because I still have, I haven't even started that game, really. To be 
perfectly honest with everybody. I played more in Borderlands 2 than Borderlands 1. Figure that shit out, people. <laughs> That's how derp it is. Anyway, um, there's that. There's, uh, of course, Diablo 3, because me and Keel both have that game. Um, there's... Does Meta have that game? Uh, no, he does not. He kind of wanted it, but he's not sure about it. And, well, we gotta eventually find a way to get it for Dread, if we wanted to do it that way, but that's still I 16. thought, because the guy who does the title cult, he'd be willing to join us if he happened to have the game. Well, you had to talk to him about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's just getting that out there. Yeah. Maybe. Um, as for Define the Elements, we do have another game that would work for it, and that's technically Payday to Heist. But the thing is, it's the, it's essentially the same game, except instead of zombies, you're taking on cops. But uh, it would more be tactical. a more different change of pace, though, if we so wished it. So. Yeah, but we'd be playing the core maps. I still haven't got that DLC yet. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you were hosting it, yeah, we could play those maps, but the DLC maps, because you can. But I can't. I don't have the DLC. I don't have the Wolfpack DLC because I chose not to buy it. Not yet. I've been well, buying too many games. So I don't know if that fall off from Black Friday. Yeah, but you have to wait. It's going to be a long wait. Uh, the other game we could do for playthrough is Saints Row the Third. Another one would be... Uh, looking through my list here. Um... Well, there's a couple other ones. I'm sure there is. I can't. I got too many games on the list right now to actually pick them out. See, Feel was multiplayer, wasn't it? Fear three, yeah, that's co-op. Yeah. We could technically do that, but it's Fear three. <laughs> we have to do that. Two? Well, yeah, there's Darkness two as well. Bioshock is a multiplayer game. That would be defining elements, though. I think. I wasn't that. I thought Bioshock's multiplayer was team deathmatch type stuff. Yeah, I think it's Bioshock Two. Yeah, which again, that's defining the elements. Nature. Um, the ship. That's defining the elements, if anything. Um, it, it, we're gonna kind of decide. We kind of have to decide on our first one. If you guys have a recommendation, if we do not have the game, we will straight up tell you. If I don't have it, you won't see it from me, at least. You might see it from Keo or Dread if they both happen to have it, but if I don't, you won't see it from me. I won't be in the recording unless I'm there to spectate, which that means... Dead Island? Don't. Well, yeah, Dead Island we could do. I haven't played much of that game, though. <laughs> Hardly yeah. any. That's definitely a game that I think would be much better played with someone else in it with you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would be. It's, I kind of got bored of it doing single player. <laughs> it's true. But, yeah, that's pretty much up for the updates. Um, the title card is in progress. The guy's pretty much got all the drawings done. He just needs to do a lot of coloring and finish the title card. Um... As for Dread, Dread's okay. We'll see him soon. He's feeling better, at least. That Borderlands 2 gift was kind of uh, helpful, if anything. Kind of, uh... It wasn't because we want to be back in good graces with him. We literally wanted to buy his Christmas gift early. While we all were playing Borderlands 2 at the time. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Do um, you have any th any updates to add there, Keo? If you can think any of anything. Mm, well, I can't think of anything. Okay. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it, people. Uh, I hope you enjoyed just listening to our little update and off-topicness sometimes that we have. I uh, hope you stay tuned for the Let's Plays when we get to them. I'm not sure when we'll start those. Uh, I will update you in another, in another video whenever that happens. 
Um, it's usually kind of have to be, do, be done in a time that me or Keo or Dread or even Meta have time to do it. Meta's been on his kick for TF2 Men versus Machine. Dread's being Dread, of course. And, well, me and Keo are in a Borderlands 2 mood. So, yeah, right now we're not in the mood to play Let's Plays. So, yeah. Anyways, uh... I guess we'll see you guys later, and hope you guys uh, stay tuned. Bye. Bye.